Okay. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, uh, I'm Yuki Kasuya uh, from KDDI. Uh, he's uh, Takashi-san from NEC and Hayes-san from Red Heart. In this session, uh, we uh, want to uh, share a new feature of uh, Open Heavy Barometer uh, from actual telecom requirement. That is a new perspective for uh, monitoring. And uh, why is a new perspective for monitoring? Uh, telecom actual requirement is a high scalability because we have to manage a huge amount of infrastructure like NFV and Slice Network and Edge Node. And uh, like these, uh, to manage a huge amount of infrastructure, uh, recover process is uh, one of the most important for our telecom. Uh, recover first and recover first. Recover first is uh, most important for us to uh, protect our uh, SLA for our uh, mobile network. And to protect uh, this uh, uh, SLA uh, to uh, advance the analyzing metrics is uh, one of the, uh, uh, our requirement. And to solve uh, these uh, three uh, requirements, our uh, approach is a uh, distributed approach for our, um, improving fault management. Uh, that means uh, to distribute our uh, monitoring function to our edge, com edge node like uh, uh, computing node and uh, to uh, complete a uh, monitoring function in each computer Now, that is a new prospect for a monitoring for our uh, telecom actual requirement. And to uh, uh, solve our requirement, uh, we started a uh, distributed monitoring analysis uh, uh, team uh, with uh, KDD Research and NEC and Red Heart to improve uh, monitoring. And finally, uh, our team contributed our uh, actual requirement to open a free parameter, and we'd like to uh, share, uh, show uh, the uh, these function we contributed to open a free parameter using demo. So, uh, Takasan, could you explain our uh, overview of demo? Okay, so I introduced two functions uh, which we show uh, in today's demo. First is uh, collect the config change. Uh, these functions are enabled to change the setting of collect D in each compute dynamically from the central monitoring node. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, some abnormality uh, is reported from users or service layer monitoring, uh, then you can uh, enable uh, shorten the uh, monitoring uh, interval, uh, that is, uh, metrics collection interval for details investigation. Okay, the second is annotation. This function uh, adds open stack information in sampled data of met uh, host metrics in compute uh, collected, collected by LiveBot. Uh, for example, uh, let's consider uh, collect the collect network statistics uh, by uh, LiveBot and detect uh, an abnormal value. Uh, the name of the VM uh, shall be instance 0001 in LiveBot interface, and the network interface name shall be uh, top name, like this, top blah, blah, blah. And uh, using this annotation functions, you can also get VM name in Nova and the network name in Neutron. Uh, related to the abnormality. And uh, you can start quickly recover. That is, uh, you can uh, quickly start migration or fencing using uh, this information. Uh, in this case, for example, uh, Nova migrate ABPBM2 or down the neutron port in a uh, neutron network internal used by ABPBM2. Okay. So let me show the demos. Oh, sorry, the, this. OK, so the, this Grafana shows the one compute node uh, installed by the OpenFP Apex. OK, go third. So that this, so that this network matrix is gathered by the 10 seconds. Every 10 seconds, we have the, uh, these values. And then the, as seen as the below, so the liberal version so this correct the gathering the uh, metrics using the libert interface. So the libert VM name is changed to the instance, the 70C or 70B or something like that. This is not the uh, actual Nova name, as well as the uh, top interface name. At that time, we don't see the uh, which interface is connected. So the, uh, this shows the uh, one features, the uh, changing the interval. 
At that time, the config uh, correct the interface interval is changed to 0 0.1 seconds. Then let's see the doubt is increased. And then they also, we can see the, uh, some abnormal network metrics. So the sometimes, let's imagine that the some of uh, virtual machine user, in case of the NFP, the uh, sending the, some request about the uh, troubleshooting about some stuff. And then the uh, first time, the, uh, the 10 second interval, at that time, the, we, can, we couldn't see the, uh, some abnormal function. But the changing the uh, interval, we can see the uh, microburst traffic in the uh, green virtual machine. And then, of course, that this information is send it to the controller side. And then uh, at that time, that we couldn't identify the virtual machine name and then the interface name as this stuff. So the, um, the annotation functionality helps this stuff as the, this stuff. So here, at the right side of the terminal, the uh, sending the, uh, the warnings to the controller. At that time, we can see the uh, not only the uh, virtual machine name of the revert, this calls the app EM2, and then also the, uh, this tap interface connected to the uh, Neutron's network name internal. So that we can see, using the correct D, we can send not only the uh, virtual machine name of the revert, also sending the OpenStack uh, virtual machine name as well as the network name. That's the, uh, uh, all about the uh, demos, so go to the... So let's wrapping up the, uh, this presentation. So the, uh, we, the KDDI lab and then the NEC and the Red Hat is proposing the uh, distributed monitoring analysis uh, with the coexistence of the current OpenStack framework. Uh, and then this demo shows the two features about the correct the config change and the annotation. And then this is also contribute to the OPNFP barometer as the open source project. And then we also see the uh, three anchor uh, URL about the, uh, our activity. Please let uh, look into it if you need to uh, have information. And that's about it. Thank you for attendance. And then any question so far? OK, that's about it. Thank you for your attendance.